We have other battles to fight. We're on the other side of something we never signed up for. The FBI announced today that to have society engaged in this attack. Having the abundance of addictive acclaim and allure in its first season that usually ends up in a 12-step program, Mr. Robot is back on July 13th for a 12-episode second run. Laconically starting with popcorn, a head injury, a very pissed off Barack Obama, gunshots, some Wall Street vandalism, and the fallout of the giant E-Corp hack of last year, the second season of the Golden Globe and Peabody award-winning USA Network series sees Rami Malek's Elliot fighting for a grip over his reality and militant hackers F Society upping their game. With more malice in both cases than ever before, and encryption as the key. Why does it feel like they're still winning? That they're gonna somehow figure their way out of this like they always do, and in the end, we'll be stuck with the bill. Now, I was one of the few not so deeply impressed by the heavily Fight Club Influence series when it premiered. When I said last year, debuting formally tomorrow on USA Network, Mr. Robot is a cyber drama for our times that in many ways is a lot of wasted bandwidth and opportunity. Well, without any spoilers, which is hard in a show that rolls out one plot point after another, about 30 days has passed since the end of last season. And despite an out of sorts appearance by former Defense Secretary Leon Panetta in the background, a misplaced George W. Bush slag, and some Phil Collins, which I just can't handle, the digital war is on. The FBI is after the rising F Society and those responsible for the debt canceling hack, which could lead to Elliot himself or ex E Corps exec Tyrell Wellick, played by Matin Wallstrom. We con the public. That is the business model for this great nation of ours. On top of that, accounts are being frozen all over the country, panic is setting in, banks and big corporations are seeking a bailout, and while some of the polemics are a little bit clunky with references to like family values and freedom fries, overall, the infinite loop of insanity, to quote Mr. Robot himself, played by Christian Slater, has become far more interesting in a margin call kind of way. An opportunity with a nice homage to the K Foundation burning a million British pounds back in 1994 has been seized. Adding Craig Robinson to a cast that now includes a further emboldened Grace Gunner and Portia Doubleday only serves to put the ball really in the post-Great Recession game in this Universal Cable production series. Because if Mr. Robot had some good timing and great luck last season, it is from what I've seen in this year of election, Brexit, Clinton campaign and DNC hacks and populist anger on all sides of the spectrum. Now in the arena of something bigger in control, to paraphrase the successfully stylized series. And that's to take a Fight Club swing, something you do want to talk about. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.